All right, guys, I had to roll on this. This is uh, Jacob right here. He uh, has never striped. He striped these two lines. This is his third line ever on this planet. Here he goes. Hopefully, he don't mess up live on YouTube. So, Chris is normally the one that's striping, but Chris is sweeping the debris off. Okay, we got a little malfunction here. We've been playing hell with clogs on this, this paint. All right, here he goes. All right. So that right there is number three ever in his life. Now, if he can learn how to do this, at some point he can break off on his own. He's a real young man, no, no kids yet. I always joke with him. I said, I see twins in his future, but he's a young man. And uh, one day he can start doing this on the side, whatever, whatever he decides to do in life, whether it's diesel mechanic, cause he's a phenomenal mechanic already. Or if he does just something else, he can always do this on the side to provide his family with an incredible way of living, vacations and whatever they want. Just doing some of this side work. It wouldn't have to be full time. I think they're having a little trouble seeing it. Can y'all see that line? Yeah, All right, well, just... He's doing really, really good. I'm really proud of him. Wonderful. So that's the one, two, three, four, five, five lines under his belt already. At first, he was a little slow. He needs to pick up your pace a little bit on your walking speed. Perfect. That's awesome. I like to see that little lunge in the beginning of it. Little dexterity where you're pulling the trigger and starting to walk at the same time. So, guys, I just wanted to show you all that. Don't be afraid to try. You know, I always tell them don't not try it. You know, so if y'all need my help personally, I could teach you how to strike like this over the phone. Pretty sure roll one more on them that way this youtube video will be out there forever and ever when they hear show us kids <laughs> and look there, there's parking lots all over the united states small towns big towns everything in between i've traveled a lot i see man no matter nowhere everywhere i go florida texas arkansas tennessee I mean, just, I've been Missouri, you know, just anywhere I go is parking lots that need to be done. I've Googled in that area that may be one line striper and he probably can't keep up. He's probably killing himself trying to keep up some of these parking lots that haven't been striped in years because they just can't find the one to do them. So. Whenever you can't see anything at all, I'm supposed to line and I think I'm doing Yeah, well, what you can do, you can, your eyes need to be in three places at one time. It needs to be on the tip. It needs to be on your path and where you're going, where you're going to end up. Yeah. It's, it takes a little practice, but you're doing great. Yeah. Now, you looking at your paint spray or are you looking at your tip? Let me get on this side. See. Uh, From the point of view of him. I'm looking ahead where I'm going to be painting. And I'm also looking back at the... Uh, about the same three, three right. inches back from where it's already been painted yep. to adjust my port. Now, I've always looked at the paint spray striking the left side of the line, and I've always followed that left side of the line down. But everybody's a little bit different, so but main, maintain your pace as you're doing it. So I'm going to look at his feet. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. He's about a, about a second and a half too slow on that line. All right, you're at about a, between a six and seven seconds. I'd like to see you around at four and five seconds. See, like right here, I'm gonna go off of where it's been pressure washed because there's no yellow paint left to look at. Absolutely. If you can see this end and that end, that's all you really need. Look, I'm gonna just crystal. How about this? I'm just gonna follow, follow that, that seam there. Look at them, they're gonna figure it out. I'm not gonna interject. They gotta learn, you know? I was sitting there watching them go back and forth for 10 minutes before. I was like, just, just do it and <laughs> get it over with. 
I can see this clearly. I don't know what they fussing about. All right, that's a good speed right there. Awesome. Four, five. Yep, that's right on the money. This is close to the All right, oh, yeah, yeah. come back, turn around. This is going to be incomplete, but at least it's about 70, 80% done. How much paint we got in the bucket? Getting low. About an All right. How many more lines we got over here to do? All right. Hopefully we can get these six. Reason why I'm uh, wanting him to pick the speed up because we don't want to load this paint up too thick on this line. You end up getting a hot tire pickup on it. So you kind of want that about a anywhere between four, uh, 12 and 15 mils wet, and it should dry between six and seven mils generally speaking if it starts to dry like that 10 mils let me get on this other side so y'all can see oh he's striping like a pro now give you a break chris yeah. <laughs> perfect he's got a good little rhythm going on so watch his feet here he's up he's elevated this is a little tricky for him Perfect. Smooth transition down. I like to see that. And you know what? You can mess up. And if you do, it's like a quarterback throwing an interception. It can get in your head. And you can end up, one mistake turns into two. And the next thing you know, you got three or four bad spots out here. And we don't want that to happen. See, that gets his spot seven or eight nine lines he's done so far he's rocking and rolling he's gonna spin it around I try to like to minimize our steps we always strike st stripe from left to right i'm sorry from right to left what am i thinking so that way you're not crossing back over your wet paint perfect now this machine you know, it's a, it's a medium weight Titan 2800. I also got a 2850 series, which is a little bit bigger wheels, a little bit more gallons per minute. But this machine right now is probably on, I don't know, 45, 50% power. You know, I can crank it up and blow and go. I mean, you can really run behind it, but doing these singles, you don't want to crank it up that much. If there was some nose and nose parking, yeah, that would work. Got a little clog there. Turn it around and tap it a couple times. So when we say turn the tip, we're just reversing the tip. Keep the tip over the painted surface. There you go. Re reverse it again. <clears throat> now you're in business. Alright guys, we're about to go load up some more paint and then run our handicaps. If I see something else, I'll roll some footage on it.